Hello, my name is Mrs. Clark, and I'm here to talk to you about the map and the cat data. So why do we do map and cat testing? We do these because they provide a broader picture about our students. The cat test tells us about how our students learn, and the map progress test finds us, tells us about how our students are progressing and making progress. And these both build a picture alongside those teacher observations that are happening every day and class-based ongoing assessments that the teachers are doing to get to know your child and our students even better. We look for year group trends across the path for patterns and we're also identifying strengths and areas for development, next steps and targets for the children. So the map growth. So the map test is the measure of academic progress. So it's curriculum neutral and doesn't follow any syllabus. It's just asking children different questions. It's a computer adaptive test. So that means that each question that the children get asked, if they get it correct, then the next question is going to be harder. If they get the question wrong, then it's going to ask them lateral questions about similar topics or ask them same similar questions in a different way to find out exactly what they do and don't know. At BISH, we do them three times a year. So we can track and see the progress in between each one. So we're going to do one now in September. We'll do another one in January and then another one at the end of the academic year. And it is a data point. We understand that children don't always perform exactly on every day. And we take that into account as well as we look at the children and take together all the information about them. So the CAT4 is different. It's a cognitive ability a test and it explores how students learn. So this doesn't really change. So once children enter year four, they take the CAT4 test and then new students that arrive through year five and through year six will also take the CAT test and we'll use the data because it's about how students learn. Uh, this one is timed, whereas the map test is not, and it's another data point that just helps provide more information about your children, your, your child and our students. So for the map test, we do three separate tests. There's a mathematics test, a reading test, and a language test, and they are done through an app on the students' school iPads. So the language questions there are some different examples here so where they might have to read a sentence and select from a list the best word to fit in that sentence they may be asked about punctuation marks for example here we have which sentence correctly uses the quotation marks or it may ask them about something that they have read and get them to think about different genres um, as we've stressed before, children don't need to learn and don't need to revise for these tests. It's just finding out what they know, where they have got to in their learning journey so that we can support them for where they need to go next. So the reading questions, here are some sample questions. So on the left, we have some words in bold there. So Diana and her sister went to the market. They saw many signs of, kinds of produce. Um, and then it's giving them a glossary and it's asking them to find different patterns, link different bits of language, so maybe some word definitions. And then we have a slightly harder question on the right hand side. Although the storm outside was ferocious, Nate left the comfort of the cabin and trudged towards home. And then asking them to use their inference skills to find the best match for the word ferocious. And then here are some math sample questions. So we've got an image here of the pencil with the ruler. So asking them to use their measuring skills. We've got some geometry questions about shape. And then we've got some time and measure questions here. A plane flew for five hours. Click on all the measurements that are equal to five hours. And when they're doing the math test, students have different icons as well. So for some questions, they are allowed to use calculators and rulers and protractors. And then other questions, they, they use their mental arithmetic skills. So the CAT4 test is a profile which is going to find out their strengths and weaknesses across four different types of questioning skills. So there's verbal reasoning questions where they have to link words and look for language, 
skills. There's non-verbal reasoning where we're looking at pictures and diagrams. And there's some Im images on the next slide to show you. There's some spatial reasoning to find out if children have that kind of strength in thinking about three dimensions and looking at patterns and shapes within shapes or quantitative reasoning where they're using more of a numerical skill. So the CAT4 test gives a kind of image of what their preference is for how they learn. And here are some example questions. So in the first one with the dots, it's looking at pattern and sequence and getting them to have a look and predict what comes next. Um, one of the harder ones uh, with the gray images there, you've got a piece of paper which has been folded, holes punched and then is unfolded and the children have to kind of work out for spatial reasoning, which is the image that would be shown. Um, down at the bottom, we have a number pattern. So one goes to two, five goes to 10, four goes to, and what is the next pattern? And then one of the language ones, carpet, floor, curtain. And so looking at language as well. So those two tests um, give us more data, more information. They are collected and analysed and give us more information about our students' support, learning, progress and next steps. Following the MAP and the CAT testing windows, if you would like further information specifically about your child, then please contact me. My email address is there. And thank you very much for listening and finding out more about our MAP and our CAT testing at BISH.